Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be creating my budget for week three of March and stuffing my sinking fund envelopes. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. Okay guys, so we are back for another stuffing. We are back for another week. We are on to the third week of the month. I hope that it's another great week and I'm able to put even more money towards my debt. My debt snowball envelope is growing, 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 growing at an amazing rate at the moment, guys. So yeah, I'm just excited and eager to see how things pan out over the next couple of weeks. Okay, so our income for this week, we have our rollover from last week, which is £398.14. And my variable income this week is £112.03. So in total, we have... Five hundred and ten pounds seventeen. In terms of fixed expenses this week, we only have one, which is debt eight, and I'm going to be putting sixty pounds towards that debt this week. And then over to my sinking funds, I will be stuffing all of my sinking funds this week. In total, I'll be stuffing ninety five pounds across all of my envelopes. And then my cash dividers over here, I'll be putting the regular amounts that I've budgeted for this month. So £50 into groceries, 35 into fuel, utilities will be getting £40 again and household will be getting 10 So in total, I'll be putting in £135. Okay, so in terms of our income, we have 510 pounds and 17 pence. Our outgoings will be 290 pounds. So if I take away my outgoings from my income, we are left with 220 pounds, which I will roll over into next week's budget. Okay, I've got my cash totals card here ready to go. I've already cleaned it, guys. I had to wear gloves. So yeah, this is a cleaned, freshly cleaned cash totals card. The way that I clean my cards is by using acetone or nail polish remover to wipe off the Sharpie pens that I use on them. Someone did ask me, this week if you can use other whiteboard pens and yes you can um other whiteboard pens work just as well i just prefer to use a sharpie pen i know it isn't a whiteboard pen it's actually a permanent marker and it says so here but you should be able to use a whiteboard pen you may need to leave it to dry though sharpie just works a lot better for me um so yeah that's why i use a sharpie Okay, so in terms of five pound notes this week, we need a lot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five pound notes, guys, 15. So I'm gonna put that down here. Okay, so in total, we are going to be needing 75 pounds in five pound notes. And then I only need one, two 10 pound notes so that's going to be 20 pounds and then in total obviously that is 95 so yeah that is our cash totals card filled in i'm just going to run to the bank and get all of these notes the money that i'm going to be stuffing into my dividers will be coming from my rollover envelope so i don't need to get that money out just this for my sinking fund. Okay, so I've got my cash. I already added the money for my dividers to it. So I'm just going to put all of my notes down. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to start with my dividers first of all. Um, for fuel, I'm going to be adding £35 to this divider. We do have some money left over from last week. If you saw my weekly check-in video, then you'll know that this money is what was left over from last week's fuel divider. So I'm going to put this to one side for my debt snowball envelope and I'm going to add my £35. Oops to it so we've got 20 35 I'm gonna put that over here utilities is next and utilities is getting 40 I'm gonna take two 20s from here and put that behind my utilities divider groceries is next and groceries going to get 50 so two 20s and a 10 we do have five pounds though behind this divider as well. And I'm going to also add this to the money that I have for fuel to go into my debt snowball envelope. And I'm going to add the 50 pounds that I just counted behind here. And then household is next. Household, we are going to be adding 10 pounds to that divider. And yeah, that will be all done so my dividers are ready to go for another week i'm just going to put them back into my wallet okay so moving on to my sinking funds so i'm going to start with my personal sinking fund first of all and i'm going to be adding five to this envelope so i'm going to take five from here We've now got 20, 40, 55, 65. 65 pounds in my personal envelope. To be honest, I haven't spoken about this for a while, but I don't have any plans for this envelope as of yet. I'm just gonna keep saving. Nevea is next. Nevea is my youngest daughter and she is going to be getting five. This is for her birthday in November. We currently have 20, 40, 65, 75 in here. Jada is next and Jada will be getting five as well. For her envelope, we currently have five, 10, 15, 20 pounds in her envelope. This is for her birthday, February, 2022. So she just had her birthday not long ago. We're starting again for her. Car maintenance is next. And for car maintenance, I will be adding in 10 pounds. Trying to add a little bit more into this envelope because I do have some work I want to be carried out on the car that I'm saving for. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10. So 110 pounds in here now. Tyrese is next and Tyrese will be getting five. It is his birthday in April, so April the 16th. Not very long away at all. We've got 50, 100, 50, 200, 25, 30. So 230 pounds in here now. Next is my water bill and I'll be adding five to my water bill this should be the amount that i need now for this bill so let's do a check we've got 50 150 200 20 45 50 so we just need 10 pounds more which i'll put in next week for this envelope in order for us to be ready for my water bill which is due next month Next, we have Hair and Beauty, and Hair and Beauty is going to be getting five pounds. So we've got 20, 40, 65 in Hair and Beauty. And I have booked my appointment for my hair to be done. Um, and it's going to be earlier than I thought, guys. I'm not sure if hairdressers are actually open. But I was able to make an appointment for the 20th, I think, of April. So we'll see. We'll see if I can actually get it done. Because I didn't think hairdressers were open, but the portal let me book it. So we'll see how that goes. Car tax is next. Car tax, I'm going to be adding five. 
So we've got 50, 100, 20, 35, 45. So 145 in car tax. Clothes, we are adding five as well. And I'm making a little bit of effort to add more into this envelope. Not that I've got anything planned at the moment, just that I think it's one of the envelopes that I'm most likely to use on the spare of like the moment. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 25, 35. So we've got 135 in here now. Car insurance is next and car insurance, I'm going to be adding 15. So 10 and a five. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65. So 165 in here. This is money I'm saving for my car insurance for next year. So 2022's car insurance. And gifts is next. Gifts we will be adding in five. So we've now got 20, 40, 55, 60. 65 in my gifts envelope. My pet envelope is going to be getting five as well. So we've now got 20, 35, 40. So 40 pounds in Harley's envelope healthcare is going to be getting five so healthcare is for all of my health needs so opticians um, dental care if I need to pay for any work to get done so we've got 20 35 40 not a lot I only started this envelope um, was it a couple months ago was it last month not a long time ago guys so we've got a little bit of money in there to get us started um annuals is next annuals we will be adding in five this is for my annual insurances so home insurance and pet insurance so we've got 10 15 20 25 25 pounds in our annuals they are not due to be paid until next year now because i did pay for them at the beginning of the year and tech is next tech i'll be adding five so we've got 10 20 35 45 in this envelope now i haven't got anything planned now now that i've got my camera guys i haven't really got anything planned for this envelope but i am going to keep saving up because um there's always something new coming out a new gadget that i may need so i'm just going to keep saving towards that inevitable cost or expense that i'll need to pay out for so yeah i do enjoy having a tech envelope to be honest guys there will be other things that i'll probably buy for my camera such as like memory cards and things like that so it'll be good to keep this envelope going and then date night is next date night we will be adding five which is my last five pound note so we've got 20 40 60 70 85 95 so nearly at the hundred pound mark and i'll probably will stop adding to this envelope actually i don't even know why did i say that um maybe not we may just keep going <laughs> um i don't know why i said that i think i'm just thinking of the meal that i'm planning when we come out of lockdown but yeah there will be other meals and other treats that we'll be having so i'll probably just keep adding to this envelope guys i'm not gonna lie so yeah date night is all done okay so that's all for now guys i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet already do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos and i'll speak to you in the next one bye guys